Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing really really well. Today is going to be a really really fun one because the day this video comes out, the 21st, is actually going to be my 30th birthday. And I am super super excited about it because I think I've spoken about this before but like I am actually genuinely really excited to be in my 30s. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like the 30s are like, I don't know, it's a cool, it's a cool time in your life. But my husband is taking me away which is amazing and I'm super lucky and I'm super excited. Um, he hasn't told me where we're going. <laughs> so, I need to plan some outfits and I need to have a few different options for a few different scenarios. He's told me that it's like a city break kind of a vibe so I don't need to worry about having kind of like countryside outfits with me um, and the climate is going to be very similar to home so kind of UK climate so I am super excited but also a bit like I don't really know what I'm gonna need so this video is just gonna be me having some fun putting together some outfits I've had some ideas I might have a little bit of a play around with things um, and yeah, I hope you'll enjoy. This is basically just me, this is the process I would do if I was just packing these outfits anyway. So I thought, why not film it? Because I love watching these kinds of videos because they're just, this is really fun and it's just fun playing dress up. And I have a few like new accessories that are new to my wardrobe um, and yeah, that I'm, I'm super excited to style up and to wear for the first time and like, try them out with a few different outfits. So yes, I hope you will enjoy. If you are new to my channel, I tend to focus very much on buying pre-loved, buying, you know, secondhand stuff because you can get some amazing pieces, like really good quality, like stunning fabrics for a fraction of the cost. And it's also a much more sustainable option, which is great. So considering the current climate and everything that's going on, <laughs> I think these are all good things to be striving for. Editing Heather here. Please forgive the massive change in lighting. I deleted my original intro file, so I uh, had to re-record that a few hours after I filmed the rest of this video. Uh, so yes, please forgive that the lighting just changed massively. And uh, yeah, back to the video. It's probably worth saying that I'm not sure how many of these pieces I'm going to be able to link. Uh, just because, as you may know if you've watched my last few videos, I am very much in the space of curating my wardrobe and finding those pieces that I really, really love and I'm going to use, you know, and wear and love for a really, really long time. So that means that a lot of these things I've actually bought secondhand um, or pre-loved or whatever you want to say. So I will link what I can, but I will always, you know, it's, it, these outfits are more of like inspiration of what kind of outfits you can put together when you shop your own wardrobe. So yeah, just worth saying because I don't want to get anyone to get really frustrated um, if they can't find the exact thing. Have a look or do what I do and just find these things on eBay. <laughs> but yes, anyway, just wanted to say that. Uh, now we will actually get into the outfits. Okay, so outfit number one is my kind of travel outfit. Um, so we're gonna be getting the train somewhere, that's all I know. Um, so I've gone for my Spanx kind of leather look leggings. This is probably the best wardrobe staple I have ever bought. I do wanna say though, don't stupidly ignore the advice I was given. <laughs> um, if you are in between sizes, go up. I got these in a small, I think, and they fit fine, but they're a little bit stretched out. The effect on them is a little bit stretched out. So I think I'm gonna get another pair of these and I'm gonna get them in the medium or you know, whatever size these are, I'm gonna get the one up. And then I have this gorgeous long line, pure cashmere top jumper from Marks and Spencers actually. And I got this on eBay absolute fraction of the price I love it I love this detailing of the piping you got it up the front and then up the back as well and then I have this necklace on from Sienna Oliver or Sienna Sienna Olivia I always get that wrong I'm so sorry and then I've gone for my chunky River Island boots just to kind of balance out the the leggings a bit and I love this outfit it's just super it's so cozy but I think it's really kind of classic which I absolutely love and then for accessories I think I'm gonna stick with the black bags I'm either gonna have my uh, polo association or my Sienna Olivia crossbody I think I'm just gonna take these two just because then it keeps 
the shoes, super simple. I'm just gonna stick with the black accessories, um, which would make it really, really nice and easy. I do like the crossbody, but I think for travel, I'm gonna wanna have like a fair bit with me. Um, so I'll have like my Kindle and my water bottle and my coffee cup. Um, and then for sunglasses, these are my new, my new babies, these are my, these are my 30th birthday present to myself. Um, these are a pair of Dior sunglasses and I got them on Vestier and I just, oh, I love them. I just think they're fabulous. They're a little bit, you know, like, they're a bit much, um, but I don't really care. So, yeah, and then my clue watch and then my normal ring. This is from uh, Victoria in the Fro, her first collection with Edge of Ember um, and it's just, Beautiful. So yeah, I think that's going to be my uh, travel outfit. For outerwear, I'm a little bit, I don't really have anything that I'm like super happy with. So I think my best option is probably going to be this. It's going to be this shacket from Zara. Now I love how this looks and I get, I get asked about it basically every time I wear it, but I will say I am I would not recommend. Um, I do not. I, the qual the quality of this really isn't good. I have to use my debobbler on it basically every time I wear it um, because it gets really bobbly, like under the arms where it kind of rubs when you're walking. Um, so it looks great, uh, <laughs> but yes, do not recommend because the yeah, just the quality of it is just not not. I mean, it's Zara. What did I expect? But still, it's disappointing. Um, but yeah, so I think this is going to be my. Completed, cosy, comfy, but still quite stylish. Travel look. I literally, I can't get over these sunglasses. I feel so fabulous. Okay, so I think this is going to be an outfit for one of the other days. Probably a day where we're going to be out and about quite a bit. So I want something nice and cosy. Um, but I can still eat loads in it. And uh, yeah, and just kind of be comfortable. But, you know, a little bit more. <laughs> A little bit more elevated. I'm still wearing the same chunky boots, spanked leggings, and then I have changed into this jumper dress, which I will have linked below. Um, I'm going to do the little number system that uh, Josie does with her videos. I think I just think that's such a good idea of you know outfit one, outfit two, outfit three. Um, it makes it so much easier for you guys to find them. Um, and like I say, I will link what I can. Probably just primarily these leggings, <laughs> um, but I think I think I'm pretty sure this was from Chicwish. I'm pretty sure it was, and I absolutely adore it. It has this gorgeous, gorgeous detailing on the top here, which I absolutely love. I find it very like it's fl very flattering, but it's still a jumper dress, and all the same accessories work perfectly so I think I'm just gonna yeah this is absolutely coming with me and this is gonna be kind of maybe a day two well nah, thing is this might actually this might actually be my birthday date kind of like outfit I don't know because I just I really really like it I feel really good in it um but like I say I can eat lots <laughs> I can walk I can move I think this will look lovely if we're taking any photos um and yes Basically the same as the previous one, but just a little bit, a little bit less casual. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say I really like this outfit. I mean, what doesn't say I'm turning 30 and I'm really excited about it more than full on sequin trousers? <laughs> I mean, I really, I, I, I don't know what more you could possibly ask from me. No, seriously, I absolutely love this outfit. And this entire outfit is actually from Tesco. <laughs> Last, it was last December, kind of in the run up to Christmas, they had the most amazing selection of more kind of formal, more kind of fun, kind of party stuff. And um, I couldn't resist because for those of you that don't know, I am a musician. So I spend my life wearing black clothing. I, I love wearing black. It's so easy. You just, you know, you feel really put together. You feel really stylish. Um, and because I wear it so much, I feel really comfortable in it. I mean, this outfit, really, really simple wrap kind of style top. I love the kind of, you know, the flowiness of it. I love the way it drapes. I love the V-neck. Um, it is long sleeve, so you can pull these down should 
you require it um but i generally i just prefer i just think it's a bit more flattering for me to have my arms bare like up to my waist sorry i'm looking at the viewfinder it's so annoying um <laughs> to have it you know kind of otherwise this feels a bit you know too much black do you know what i mean so i just think that's a little bit better and then for my necklace i've gone for this beautiful black pearl necklace which my parents actually bought for me so it's very very special to me and i just think this is gorgeous for i mean jacket have i not said sorry this is probably going to be my evening outfit so this is probably my 30th birthday dinner kind of an outfit so I think just jacket slung over the shoulders and then for shoes I won't put them on because you won't be able to see them but I'm gonna wear my just my black suede I'm trying to show them so they're <laughs> too much black I'm so sorry um because they've got a nice bit of a heel on but not too much beautiful suede um and these are from Lindsay I believe I got these again on eBay they were brand new um I absolutely love them and they will provide me with a bit of height um, I do have my Kurt Geiger heels, but I will definitely only wear those for the one evening, so I might not have space for them. Whereas these I could wear, you know, I might wear these sort of for a couple of evenings, if we're going out for drinks or whatever, but I'll probably wear them. So those are probably the ones I'll go for. Super, super simple. Keep it big hair, and again, I mean, if it's still light when we go out. I mean, it's got to be the Dior, hasn't it? Like, you can't, you can't be wearing sparkly, sequined black trousers going out for your 30th birthday um, and not choose, not choose the Dior sunglasses, can you really? <laughs> Quite frankly, it would be a crime. I cannot tell you how excited this is making me. <laughs> this is, okay. We take an intermission for Heather's ramblings whilst she gets excited about clothes. This is one of the things where I'm like, what, what you wear matters. Do you know what I mean? And it doesn't, I don't mean it matters to other people. It doesn't, like, none of that. Ignore all of that. What I mean is that it matters to you. It matters to how it makes you feel. If you're wearing clothes that bring you joy. I mean, seriously, yeah, you can't not feel joy and look at these trousers. Then, you know, you, you light up. You come alive as a person. And I just think that's important. And you should never, ever, ever, ever feel bad for feeling like for caring about what you wear I think it's something that can be seen as quite like vain or a bit vapid or whatever and I just think that's nonsense so there okay so I'm gonna have to stand a bit further back to uh show you this one because I have put heels on and that is making it very difficult to get in frame so this is gonna be I mean you're gonna see these leggings a lot Spanx leggings, but this time I pair them with my over-the-knee heel boots, and these are from Silk Fred. Now, I love Silk Fred as a website. I just find they have loads of stuff that I love. I find they're like ASOS, but less weird. Do you know what I mean? And then I've got just got this silky shirt from Zara. Again, kind of similar to the jacket. I, I love how this looks. I love how this feels. But I am going to now, now that I know I love it, <laughs> I'm going to keep an eye out for uh, just a better quality version. It's just, from a distance, it looks beautiful. Should have ironed it, very sorry. Um, but, you know, it just, when you get up close to it, like, the finish isn't great. So, um, yeah, sorry. I don't know why I'm slagging off all my clothes. Um, but I think this is a dinner outfit option i think because it's super comfy because of the leggings but the shirt just makes it a little bit more dressy as do the boots vegan leather jacket and then my crossbody bag and then i mean obviously if we're going out for dinner i shall not be wearing sunglasses but if i choose to wear this as a daytime outfit which to be fair it could if we're going to be out during the day and then going to dinner afterwards this would be perfect I think because it's kind of dressy enough for dinner um but still not so dressy that I feel silly walking around in the daytime and for that I'm going to put on my Ray-Ban sunglasses these were that have been just one of the best things I bought for my wardrobe I love them and I basically wanted them for about a year before I bought them which to me is just a really good indication that I'm gonna love these for you know for years and years to come and I just, yeah, I really like this outfit actually. Maybe this, yeah, maybe if we're going out somewhere for lunch. Because then I can, you know. I want to wear my sunglasses and, and 
Every, you look silly wearing sunglasses in the dark, okay? Come down here to show you my jewellery. I've just got these little gold hoops on, which to be honest, are probably going to be what I wear for the majority of the trip. Um, just keep it really, really simple. I just, I love them. And then I have this little uh, ear cuff. Now this is actually, this is a piercing one. So I do have my conch pierced. So uh, yeah, so I'll have it linked down below because she's an Etsy seller who makes up all her own stuff and they're just beautiful pieces. Um, and then just a little silver hoop at the top, which I actually got from Tesco. Uh, and then I just have, yep, yeah, gold hoop on this side and then just a little stud up there, which I love. And then my necklace is actually a, <laughs> I bought myself uh, so many presents. <laughs> um, no, but this is actually another 30th birthday present to myself. I have wanted this again for a very, very long time. I was trying to find something similar because it kept going out of stock and I couldn't. So I just set all the notifications and managed to snag one. This is by, from the By Glaze collection and this is the... Mm, her first name's Kat, can't remember her second name, I'll have a link down below, but this is the moon phase kind of choker, which I absolutely adore, it goes with everything, and I just think it's just really beautiful and classic, I might layer it up a little bit with a few other things, um, but this will definitely be the basis of the accessories, and then my regular clue swatch, which was a birthday present a few years ago, and then, yeah, this is my Edge of Ember ring, which I absolutely adore, um, and then, obviously, like, wedding rings on the other side so yeah i really oh, just, just good accessories you know they just give them they just make you feel a certain way i love it okay this is probably sending the camera nuts because i'm against such a light background in such a dark outfit um so i really really hope that you can see it but i think this may be my favourite outfit that i've put together so far okay so this is my gorgeous really deep forest green pure wool jumper from and other stories again this was a, i had it saved on did it used to be called karma or is it called karma now <laughs> i forget you know the the the, the extension where it will give you you know notifications when stuff comes back in stock that's what i did with this one i have never clicked on notification so fast in my life um and i absolutely adore it i love this it is definitely something that you have to wear like a thermal or something underneath not for warmth it's very warm um but because it is a little bit itchy just at the top it is lined which is lovely um but i do find it a tiny bit itchy without anything underneath it's just worth saying and then this skirt i absolutely love this i got on ebay and it's actually from karen millen it's faux leather skirt and then it's got this most incredible detailing on it there you go you can kind of see it a bit better there it's got this incredible pattern which with the plain colored jumper i just oh, i just love it and then tights and chunky boots just to kind of casual it up a little bit and then for accessories we're going to do the same like i say i'm i don't want to take a massive suitcase so we're you know we're going we're going minimal with the accessories okay so this is absolutely a leather jacket crossbody bag and then i don't know whether to do the Dior glasses, let's have a think, sorry, I've got a mirror over here, just to give me an idea, either the Dior or the Ray-Bans, hmm, I think the Ray-Bans actually might suit this outfit a little bit better, because it's a little bit more, this is kind of my a slightly more edgy style, <laughs> it's not very edgy, I feel edgy because I have boots on um so i think the ray-bans just kind of fit in with it a little bit better sorry do you love you um i love this outfit i am to be honest i think this may have overtaken as my birthday outfit i just feel i just feel great in it i feel really really me but the more stylish elevated version of me which you know is never it's never a bad thing because, you know, unstylish, unelevated version of me is something nobody needs to see. Okay, and then for final outfit, I'm just going super simple. I've got my ripped jeans. These are from Super Dry. I love Super Dry jeans. I just find they fit really, really well. And I loved the colour of these because they are, they're black without being, like, black black they're a bit more casual they're a bit more distressed which i absolutely love and then this t-shirt has been <laughs> it's been a journey this t-shirt 
So this is a beautiful silk cotton blend t-shirt from Lily Silk. Now I've been on the hunt for really good quality t-shirt that feels like a white t-shirt that feels really lovely <laughs> on my skin and will last. Now this is not a cheap t-shirt. I think it was it's like 40, 45 pounds, which for one t-shirt is ridiculous. But this t-shirt should last me a lifetime if I take good care of it. And I am so happy with it. I am so happy with the fit. Um, I'll put the size that I got in the description below because I did size up in this because I wanted to, I, basically I wanted it to be loose and comfortable. I hate anything that's really tight on my upper body. I just find it really uncomfortable. And then I actually have no idea where this belt is from. I am so sorry. I got it from TK Maxx. Oh, it's from the brand Scotch, which I don't know. I have no idea where it's from, but I absolutely love this. This is my go-to belt. I wear it with everything. And then for shoes, I was about to, I was about to say, tell me your opinions, but then, um, I'll be, I'll be gone by the time you watch this. I mean, tell me your opinions anyway, because I will repeat this outfit. But I don't know whether to go for the Adidas Gazelles or my Nike high tops, my Nike high tops. I don't know, I don't know which one it is. I, I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Nike, Nike, whatever you want to say. Um, kind of feeling these. I basically, I'm intimidated by these shoes. <laughs> I absolutely adore them. They're so cool. I love the black sole, just the all black with the white tick. I just think they're really, really cool. Um, these are a bit more in my comfort zone. Mm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try them and have a little bit of a play. But it will be one of these two. And yeah, let me, let me know because I will be interested. <laughs> and then definitely gotta stick with the all black. You know what? At this point, I'm wondering if I even take the Zara jacket because oh, I, love my, I love this jacket. It's from, again, I got this from TK Maxx. I love TK Maxx. You've got to have the patience to like rifle through it, but I love it. This is from Sissono by Cavallini. Um, and like I say, it's a really, really good quality vegan leather. It looks and feels like real leather because I, <laughs> I say, I think I've said before, you know, I do buy leather accessories because of the durability of it. It will last so much longer. It's not Putting more plastic out there um, and also just it's just you know it looks and it wears so much better generally speaking but this has been amazing it's not it's not in any danger of like flaking or anything like that so I've been really really happy with this Ray-Ban sunnies just because I think they go really really well and then either the crossbody or the polo I think the crossbody kind of fits in a little bit better, but to be honest, I think either will work, which is the beauty of these two bags, and just depends on what we're doing that day and how much stuff I need to have with me. And then for jewelry, I'm gonna stick with, camera's really struggling, I'm so sorry, because the sunlight's coming in, so I've had to try and block it out. And, oh, anyway, we'll get there. Um, I've stuck with my By Glaze little choker, just because I think gold accessories, when you've got a very like plain classic outfit, I just think it's great. Kept my little hoops in, and again, they match the gold hardware on my glasses. And then, yeah, just keeping the same, same rings as per use. You know what? I might even do this outfit. I might do a red lip. Oh, it's kind of, I feel like it needs a bit of color. I appreciate that a lot of these outfits have been very monochrome, a little hint of green, but that's just very, that's very my style. It's very what I enjoy. Yes. I feel good in this outfit, and uh, yes, I have nothing else to I have nothing else to say about it, really. I know sometimes I feel like I impart too much wisdom on these videos. <laughs> And that is it. That is the end of the video. The lighting is going nuts because it is such a beautiful sunny day. So I am going to take my puppy dog out for a walk. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so, so much. If you have enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my channel. I'm really enjoying making content for this channel at the moment and I would love for you to join me. So I will see you guys in the next one. And yeah, next time I see you, I'll be a 30 year old. It's a weird thought, isn't it? <laughs>